My name is Rick Sepler. I'm on the co-op board and we're at the Apple Fest where uh, apples of all denominations and beliefs are being crushed. It's been great for 20 years. My family has been members of the co-op. It's been part of our daily, I say weekly life. We've always come down. The biggest challenge shopping here, of course, is trying to leave the store without having a dozen conversations. Um, as I understand it, years ago, they had a hat you wore and the hat said, please leave them alone. They just have to get something and get home. And I think that's what separates the co-op from all the other opportunities to purchase uh, foodstuffs here in town. That and the fact that it um, consistently tries to vet to ensure they get whole foods at good prices for the community. I certainly didn't run for the board because I know how to tell if produce is ripe. I ran for the board because the co-op's more than just a food store, a grocery store. It's one of the centers of our community. And I'm so supportive of something that invests back in community. Um, co-op last year spent over $750,000 to support local farmers to bring local produce into the community. And without that support, many of those farmers wouldn't be able to produce, wouldn't have the guarantee. And there's a certain connection we make with where we live and the agricultural roots that serve Port Townsend. And the co-op amplifies that and implements it. I think benefit is having the satisfaction and working with uh, shopping in an organization that sole interest is reinvesting in community and providing good service. Um, some of the benefits are a great sense of overall community, uh, connection with things that are going on here with folks. Um, it is truly poor Townsend. All the dollars stay here. It's a great employer. Um, it uh, strives to meet a good mission and principles, um, tries to be ethical. Sometimes the road is rocky, but for the most part, um, your membership is, uh, is an entree into a broader connection with your community. Applefest is a, a wonderful example of community-based connection. Um, it celebrates fall, it celebrates uh, uh, local produce, it connects uh, kids and elders, all members of the community, and it makes the, the uh, co-op more um, approachable. And I'll note there's a whole bunch of board members that are here now. Um, it's a chance for us to talk just socially and informally with members, hear more what folks are about. It's also a great chance for you to uh, get to know other members and establish broader bonds. If you ask uh, to accomplish this year, I'd say there are two primary goals personally, and I think it's shared by a number of my colleagues on the board. The first is to find a great general manager. Um, as you know, Briar Culp had to leave because of health reasons. It was very sad. She was an integral part of the co-op. But we're looking to find someone to step in uh, to her role, um, bring school, good skills, um, and continue the good processes that have been established. Um, the second is um, there's a strong interest from members of the board to work with our school district more, to get Whole Foods more integrated into uh, the uh, food program that's provided to kids and education provided to kids about where food comes from. And I think those are the two significant goals uh, I personally have. And again, I know it resonates with a number of our, our other board members too. It's a beautiful day. It's a great time to be here. And thanks to everybody for participating in this food co-op.